Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 85 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you as singers by answering your questions from all over and I'll give you a chance to ask questions later, but our question for this week comes from Matthew M. in San Diego, California and Matthew writes, get this, Dear Justin, I'm learning how to sing to propose to my girlfriend. And I've been watching your videos on high larynx, low larynx, chest voice, head voice, but I'm confused how to put it all together to find my voice. Now, Matthew, this is the greatest idea known to mankind. And so for the next 10 minutes or so, you can consider me, Justin Stoney, wingman. And what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to put all these technical elements together to discover our own unique voice. And if we do things right, there may even be... Wedding bells for Matthew. So let's take step one. Where's your larynx? Now Matthew, you're very right to say that we need to know where our larynx is when we sing. Try something for me. Find your larynx. Place a finger there. It's that bump in the middle of your neck. Good. Now, take a yawn. <sighs> Great. You felt your larynx drop. Now, try a swallow. That's right. You felt your larynx rise up. Now, there's all kinds of larynx positions that we can use when we sing. Lower larynxes give us more darkness and depth to the tone, and higher larynxes give us more brightness in the sound. You can use that for stylistic effect, but if you want to sound the most like you, to have the most authentic sound, you've got to use the neutral larynx. Today we're going to be looking at a love song, Can't Help Falling in Love, the classic love song made famous by Elvis, and we're going to apply these tools to the singing. Now, I can't really use my low larynx here, right? I don't want to have all of that depth but I also can't really use my high larynx. Wise men say... It's not gonna be right. Nope, I wanna sound the most like me. Wise men say... So I use my neutral larynx. How do we know what larynx we're using? It's as easy as placing a finger there. We're not gonna hold it down. We're not putting any pressure on the larynx. We're just using that for information. So if you're trying to get that neutral larynx, you know what you're doing. Now, step two, what vocal register are we in? You're also very right, Matthew, to ask what vocal register should I sing in? Now for good vocal technique, we wanna develop all the vocal registers, but that doesn't mean we sing a song in all the vocal registers. I don't wanna be in falsetto. She gonna throw you out on the curb. But I also don't want to be using my full thick chest voice either. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin? Yes, yes, it would be a sin if you sing a love song like that. No, I want to take the strength of my thyroarytenoid dominant chest voice and the flexibility of my cricothyroid dominant falsetto and head voice and merge those together in a kind of mixed blend. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin? And it's got both the flexibility of the top and the strength of the bottom together. Feels like talking, sounds like talking on pitch, and that gives it its authentic sounding quality. So how are we gonna do this? We're not gonna sing too thick, too big, too heavy, too loudly. Not gonna sing too softly, too breathily, too lightly. We're gonna find that speaky quality to the tone right down the center. Next, step three, what stylistic choices will you use? Now that you've found your neutral larynx and your blended vocal registration, we really get to have some fun with stylistic choices. There's really no right or wrong to this. You can add and subtract stylistic choices in whatever quantity you like. This is the number one way that you're going to get the sound of your voice, your personal performance based on what stylistic choices you choose. So I'm going to give you some options, starting with compression textures. 
Compression textures is the tension on the chords that we use when we sing. Will they be too loose, just right, or too tight? We're actually going to want to use combinations of all these textures. For example, too loose, if I can't help, or just right, if I can't help, or perhaps a little vocal fry, too tight for a moment, if I can't help, that little uh is actually pleasing in a lot of contemporary circumstances. So that's compression textures. Next, let's look at straight tone versus vibrato. Straight tone and vibrato we've talked about in the past, but we don't want to use either one too much. Take my hand, take my whole life to Too much straight tone. Take my hand, take my whole life to Too much vibrato. What about a blend? Take my hand, take my whole life to Works very well to have a balance. Next, riffs. Riffs aren't something to overdo but the right riff at the right time can really accentuate your songs. Here's some examples. Wise men say only fools rush in But I can't help falling in love with you Now, that's too many, but I might find one or two riffs that I really like for the song. Next, dynamics. Dynamics really just means volume control, moving from loud to soft gracefully. This is one of the greatest ways to bring musicianship to your song work. Like a river flows, surely to the sea, darling, so it goes, some things are meant to be. And it really brings a lot of life to the song. Last, rhythmic variety. Changing your rhythms is one of the best ways to bring the words that you want to say to life. We don't want to be so metronomic all the time. Wise men say only fools rush in. No, we can do so much more. some of the text to the forefront. So these are some stylistic choices that you can play with. There's so, so many more, but just implementing some of these will help you to find an authentic style for yourself. Now, step four, will your soul shine through? After you've done all this work, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to sing straight from the soul, to mean every word that you say and to look the love of your life right in the eyes and say, this one goes out to you. Wise men say Only fools rush in But I can't help Falling in love Yeah.
break a leg on the most important and beautiful vocal performance of your life, my prayers go out to you and the bride-to-be. And I hope that's been helpful for all singers today. If you've got questions you'd like to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. So I encourage you, don't lose that joy. Don't lose that passion. Don't you dare let people tell you you can't sing. You and I both know it's not true. And hey, maybe you'll end up like Matthew, singing to the love of your life. Get with a great voice teacher in your area. Or if you're in New York or you'd like to Skype with one of our staff, check us out at newyorkvocalcoaching.com. If you'd like a vocal course you can do at home, the Voice Lessons to the World Vocal Course is a 12-part course that takes you on a singing journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. You can find that at voicelessonstotheworld.com. And if you'd like free vocal tips sent to you every day, sign up at dailyvocaltips.com. I'm Justin Stoney. Until next time, make a joyful noise. Manny Cooner Wing Cat. But our question for this week comes from Daquan R. in Toronto, Canada. And Daquan writes, Dear Justin, I love your videos, but I wish you'd release a vocal course that I can do at home. Is there something like this in the works? Later, but our question for this week comes from Gabriel C. in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And Gabriel writes, Dear Justin, what is vocal embouchure? Now that question is great, Gabriel.